Oh! Do it. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe we will. That's really nice. What's up? How's it going? Welcome to my mini masterclass on RTP. RTP stands for return to player, and that is the percentage that we are going to get back of the amount that we wager. That might have sounded confusing, so let's use some real numbers. Say we wager $1,000 and the RTP of a slot machine is 96 percent we will get 960 dollars back taking a big l here does not sound super awesome so how do we actually win uh, we're going to look at rtp how it all works with variance and how you can actually walk away with some profits as always i'm adam some people call me eclo and let's gamble I think it's good to have at least a basic understanding of RTP. You're going to see that acronym uh, at a lot of casinos and anytime you're researching a slot machine, it may pop up and it's super handy uh, for sites like this. So Casino Tops Online, this is their top 10 best online slots for 2022. And we have all these classics, Book of Dead, Wolf Gold, Gonzo's Quest, uh, Fire Joker, etc., etc. But when we uh, hover over these games, we can actually see a couple different statistics. One of the main points of interest here is RTP, so 96.21, great RTP, Book of Dead, awesome slot machine. Uh, we have Wolf Gold here in 96, uh, 96. So I really like this because they are just showing us. So this one we see 88%, but it has millionaire prizes and it has a bonus wheel. So typically when the RTP is lower, uh, they have jackpots or very big scores. So um, they are definitely more risky to play, but you can have uh, you know potentially life-changing wins if you bink uh, a jackpot for example and yeah a lot of these games uh have great features and obviously great rtp and that's what's landed them in the best casino slot games of 2022 so i really love this header section but they also have some other great stuff in this article uh they recommend places to play so different casinos uh, if they're available in your area payment methods they're gonna accept and overall ratings based on a lot of things we do have videos uh, that explain that in more depth uh, they also break down different types of machines, uh, providers, so these are the people that, or the companies that make the slot machines, so these are like the developers, uh, and yeah, we've got some awesome guy here making some YouTube videos as well. And then we got some different payouts, so again, this one is ranking slot machines with great RTP, and we see here Book of Nine Nine has a 99% RTP, Ooh, ah, Dracula, 99% RTP. These are some of the highest things you're ever going to see. Most casinos, a good slot machine is going to be somewhere in the 96%. So these are just a cut above the rest. And we'll explain like why this is important uh, next. So I am a visual learner and I've put together this fancy dancy chart to try and explain how RTP sort of works in my brain. So we have a line starting here. This is gonna be basically our break even. So it doesn't matter what our bankroll is. Maybe it starts at 1,000 and we wager $1,000. We're doing $10 spins, so 100 spins, 1,000 wagered, uh, our bankroll. If the RTP of the slot machine uh, uh, was 100%, we would still be at a thousand dollars so our bankroll wouldn't really change i just wanted to start with that because it can, can it can be confusing that the line's going up this is simply the amount wagered so realistically slot machines are not 100 percent rtp uh this one in this example is 96. so after our 10 dollar spins 100 spins if variance was exactly how we would predict it we would end up with 960 dollars so that is where that four percent house edge comes into play and that's how these casinos make their money where things get interesting is i have the purple line which is emulating a high volatility slot machine and i have the sort of blue line which is more of a low volatility slot machine so volatility is how often a machine pays and the size of the payments so if it's very high volatility, you're going to have farther and fewer wins, but when you do win, they're going to be bigger. Uh, low volatility, you're going to win back your wager a lot, you're going to win small wins, 2x to 10x, uh, and you're also going to have less dry spells, but you just don't have that potential upswing like in a high volatility slot. None of these lines are based off of real data, this is just kind of a theoretical example. The things we do know is what we're wagering how many times we're spinning and the RTP of the slot. So using those three known values, we can sort of predict and project um, these sort of outcomes. So where it gets interesting is how do we actually walk away with profits in a slot machine? And in this example, our player at the 60th spin, which is this line here, our player at the 60th spin playing high volatility, 
they actually had wagered $600 because they had done 60 spins at $10, right? But they're actually getting a return of 1,000. So this is a $400 profit for this player on their 60th spin. These profits are not guaranteed. This line could look wildly different from player to player. Variance is simply the deviation of this line from that expected line. So the green is if there was no variance at all, we would simply just lose our 4% every spin. But because we have this variance factor, we go up and down and all around this line. And to win at slots, we need to walk away when our line is above the green line. Hope that's as clear as mud. Basically, to win at slots, we have to be lucky and we have to make a smart decision of when to leave. So one last thought here about RTP and variance. The higher the RTP actually means the less risk we need to take with our own bankroll to try and hit a big win. So a 96% RTP in this example, we actually only lose $40 if we are, you know, average luck. Uh, but we did take 100 different spins and we could have potentially had a large win. So if the RTP was 80% on a slot, it would have costed us $200 to try and hit that big score. So some of these slots, they have max payout. Some of them are 5,000x, 10,000x, 20,000x. I've even seen 96,500 or something like that. And that's on um, Buffalo King. So if the RTP is good on those slots and we have that one in 100,000 chance or whatever it is of hitting that big score, the higher the RTP, the less it's gonna cost us to try and go for that big score. All right, so let's play some Book of 9999 RTP. Uh, there's this little book mechanic on the side. If we fill this up, we get a guaranteed bonus. What happens if I click this average bet? Okay, so 20 cents, cool. So that's, uh, I think that's what adds a little bit of the kickback, which helps boost that RTP. Uh, the other thing is if we combine uh, a 99% RTP with some sort of rake back, whether it's in the form of bonuses or cash back, something like that, even if that's 1%, our RTP is literally 100%. So it's pretty wild, but it's not guaranteed, right? We can be on the wrong side of variance and we can still walk away with a loss. So we're just going to rip some rip some book of nine nine and see what happens every time we get a book it's a wild if we get three it's a bonus and if we get this thing up to 99 it's another bonus we have not been on the upside of variance yet this session but i'm hoping we can at least get close to our expected Oh, we're hitting books. One more and we're there. Small. Okay, come on, come on. This is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so the bonus. We're getting about $29 bonus here. Give us a good symbol. 10 is not good. Not a good start here, folks. Okay. Well, good luck. You need at least three of those, they'll expand, and then we'll get a uh, payout. So that's good. Don't know if it's gonna be huge, we'll see. Uh, a buck, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting the $30 back here. Especially, okay, there's a, oh! Do it. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe we will. That's really nice. That's really nice. So we get more spins. Do we get another symbol though? Sometimes you get another symbol in these books. Oh no, we just get more spins. That's fine. I would have, like, sometimes you can get multiple symbols. So we'd have like tens and queens, for example. Um, but more spins is good too. Let's get like some four or five reels with tens on them. Oh yeah. Yep. Dang. We'll take it though, we got the wilds. So far not too bad, five bucks. We're getting there, 10, 10 book, 10. Okay, another buck, yeah, we're cooking, we're cooking. We're getting there, I don't know. We'd love to get another triple book. We're hitting, we're hitting, we're hitting. We need more than three though, to get some big wins. Come on. Yep, four. There we go. So is that going to be like two bucks or what? Oh, it's a $5 win. Nice. OK, 
Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Do it. Oh, dang. I actually thought we were maybe going to get all five. I wonder what that would pay. If you got all of them. Only one way to find out. Got to hit it. Four. Oh. Ooh. Ooh! Oh! 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 What a hot start! Man, five of a kind would be sweet. Do it. Oh, and we didn't even get a book? That's a decent win, though. 290 there. That's it. 1750, so definitely, I would say we're definitely not at the 99%, but I am going to crunch some numbers and we'll see what our exact return is and I'll calculate how many spins I did. I will be right back with the numbers. All right, so we did 249 spins, a total staking of 49.80. That is 249 spins at 20 cents. We were returned $38.40. Our RTP was 77.1%. So we ran pretty bad. We ran 20, almost 22% below expected. So that just means someone else is probably gonna run 22% above expected. They'll be able to walk away with profits if they are smart enough to walk away at the right time. Hope you found this little mini masterclass on RTP interesting, maybe learn something. Uh, check out CTO's other videos, drop a sub on the YouTube channel here, leave a comment in the comment section, give this video a thumbs up, and stay tuned for some more great videos. Thank you so much for watching.